has been a history of interaction between living things and their surroundings. To a large extent, the physical form and the habits of the Earth's vegetation and its animal life have been molded by the environment. Considering the whole span of earthly time, the opposite effect, in which life actually modifies its surroundings, has been relatively slight. Only within the moment of time represented by the present century has one species, man, acquired significant power to alter the nature of this world. During the past quarter century, this power has not only increased to one of disturbing magnitude, but it has changed in character. The most alarming of all man's assaults upon the environment is the contamination of air, earth, rivers, and sea with dangerous and even lethal materials. The pollution is for the most part irrecoverable. The chain of evil it initiates, not only in the world that supports life, but in the living tissues, is for the most part irreversible. In this now universal contamination of the environment, chemicals are the sinister and little recognized partners of radiation in changing the very nature of the world, the very nature of its life. It took hundreds of millions of years to produce the life that now inhabits the Earth. Eons of time in which that developing and evolving and diversifying life reached a state of adjustment and balance with its surroundings. The environment, rigorously shaping and directing the life it supported, contained elements that were hostile as well as supporting. Certain rocks gave out dangerous radiation even within the light of the sun, from which 